Tuesday, September 10th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $123. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friendsofweusecoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. In a video going viral this week, a man records his interrogation by state agents from Child Protective Services. An anonymous complaint was all that was needed for the state to file a petition in family court and have the man's daughter legally taken away from him and have a restraining order placed on him to stay away from her, all without trial. Watch the video and get a real perspective of what it's like to be vilified for being a father. What happens when state agents insert themselves into the family? Is CPS doing more harm than good? This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. Is the liberty movement of peace and privacy being catapulted into the mainstream? Matt Drudge of conservative news aggregator DrudgeReport.com has broken up with Republicans. It's been said that his website is important enough to be included on the list of daily briefings to Obama, and his headlines are constantly shaping the reporting of other journalists. This week, he tweeted, quote, It's now authoritarian versus libertarian, since Democrats versus Republicans has been obliterated. No real difference between parties. With the rise of alternative media in the age of information, the war of ideas is being won by those who think critically and exercise intellectual honesty. Authoritarianism is a state problem. Louisiana's state health department recently forced a homeless shelter to destroy 1,600 pounds of venison because, quote, deer is not an approved meat source. In New York City, the Bloomberg administration banned food donations to the city's government-run homeless shelters. Now, armed bureaucrats in Raleigh, North Carolina, are putting people in jail for feeding the hungry. A pastor there has been giving out food to the homeless for six years without issue, but last week, he was threatened by police. Quote, we asked the officers for permission to disperse the biscuits to the over 70 people who had lined up waiting to eat. They said no. I had to face those who were waiting and tell them that I could not feed them or I would be arrested. Read the pastor's full blog post at lovewins.info. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app at blockchain.info. A popular Bitcoin figure, Jason King, has created Satoshi Forest, a, quote, homeless sanctuary, a place where the downtrodden can find respite from the crime of simply being poor. King purchased the nine acres of wooded land after the bureaucrats of his town of Pensacola passed a camping ban, and he was told that he would be aiding and abetting in a crime for bringing a blanket to someone who's freezing sleeping outside. The plan is to use the private property of Satoshi Forest to provide blankets, shelter, a kitchen, skills workshops, and other useful materials for those who need a lift in life. The mortgage will be paid entirely in Bitcoin. Get the heartwarming details at bitcoinmagazine.com. In other Bitcoin charity news, winter is coming, and Bitcoin Not Bombs is fitting the homeless with warm hoodies. They've launched a Bitcoin starter campaign to crowdsource the funding of this project. Bitcoin Not Bombs and Mass Appeal Inc. are teaming up to produce the hundreds of hoodies that will be given to those most in need. Not only are these cool designs attractive for anyone to wear, they also double as Bitcoin propaganda, since the homeless generally make themselves visible to the public. There are perks for donating, too. Go over and check out their Bitcoin starter campaign and throw them some coin for a good cause. It's easy. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode and send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.